Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3D Tech. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at uh, just a quick follow up of the Fabricator Mini with the Octopi base. So, here we have it actually printing out. So, uh, uh, so far, so good. Uh, again, no stability issues on the uh, base at all. Uh, it's moving along at full speed. Uh, printing a modified rocket. Actually, I took the standard rocket and I'm, I'm printing it out uh, just for grins and giggles just to see how it goes because I really don't have anything else um, queued up to be printed. So I guess we'll print some fun stuff for a change. And, uh, oh, caught my sleeve on the tripod as I was moving the filament. So anyways, everything seems to be working good on it. Let's uh, go take a look. I'm doing... Uh, uh, I'm using Octoprint and I'm using the, the, the Z um, time lapse mode on this, which I really, really like. I'd like to find a way to get that on the uh, Wanho too, because you just kind of see the object being built up. Uh, one thing, I'm still waiting for my new webcams. I ordered several new webcams to come in uh, to mount on here. This is a little bit blurry because it's a little bit close up. I may have to do some jury rigging to get something to work because I really don't want it any further out than that. I'd like to get a nice view of that. If you have any suggestions, leave in the comment below how I can, you know, uh, I've got some um, close-up lenses for my various cameras, and I'm thinking about trying to retrofit one on here. However, if you get some ideas, let me know down below. So, also, sorry for the glare, just the, the backlighting for the the, uh, uh, the webcam and the octoprint. So, anyways, let's go watch the time, let's go watch the time lapse, and then we'll be back in a second. So, time lapse. Now for a time-lapse video. Ready, set, let's go. So we finished printing the rocket, and it came out pretty good. I've already uh, popped it loose from the bed. It was stuck pretty good to the tape. Although I want you to show that the tip of this, I hope it's, uh, I think it's coming out fairly good. Um, did a very nice job on the tip. Uh, I'm really impressed, actually. Uh, a little bit of stringiness on the bottom. Nothing that can't be easily cleaned up with a small file. Um... Really pleased the way this came out. I printed it at a 0.1 layer height, and I rescaled it in um, uh, Tinkercad. So it's 50, 50 millimeters tall, 23 by 23 uh, wide on the fins. And, uh, wow, this came out pretty good. haven't watched the time lapse yet, so I'll insert the time lapse in between the intro and... and uh, uh, the finish of this, however, again, uh, I created uh, this profile in Cura and imported it into Octoprint, and this was actually printed um, uh, via Octoprint, via the Raspberry Pi down there in the base, and really, um, ooh, that motor's hot. So, um, not a big heat issue, I'm, 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 I'm happy with that, so... The print time wasn't huge, it was a little over an hour, I think, uh, might have been an hour and a half. Um, however, no issues on, on heat or anything like that, so uh, so far so good on, on this, this build. And again, the, the biggest thing is I, I just kind of wanted to show, um, you know, this working, there are no issues uh, with, um, you know, the structure of this, uh, holding the printer solid and printing and um, all that so and again very happy with with the the results um, I may actually give this a try on the Wanho too uh, just to whoops if I get it in the frame here I may give this exact model a try on the Wanho and see how it comes out uh, again with Cura because I use the same version of Cura for that to um, and see how the tip comes out however again it's not uh, 100% perfect, but it's probably 98%. Actually, if I took a light piece of emery paper and just, you know, stuck it and ran it through, it'd be, it'd be knock off 
there's like a little bulge on the side there. However, unless you really look at it, and the top is, I mean, sharp. The, the top, uh, the top would probably draw blood. <laughs> uh, you'd probably use it as a diabetic poke stick. It's uh, that sharp. So I would knock that down before I let, uh, for example, my grandson play with that. And again, a piece of emery, emery cloth would do that. So. Anyways, hopefully you found this interesting, and, and you're going to build your own Octopi Fabricator Mini setup. And, and the, the pieces that's really cool about this is it really kind of showcases some of the technology, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this, and one of the reasons I bought the uh, Fabricator Mini. Is again, you know, Chuck had mentioned he wanted to get something portable on his channel. Chuck Hellbuck, that is. And... Uh, uh, again, I think it's a great idea. Uh, you know, one of my hopes is to take this into my grandson's school. He's in kindergarten, and I think it'd be really great just to kind of set set it up and, you know, have a have a you know a web interface and have the kids print to it and things like that. Um, and, and again, it prints rather fast. I mean, because you know this printed in like an hour and a half, so you could actually send something like this to print and within a class session, um, you know, have an end product that kids could hold in their hand and and so I really think um, you know combining this with something like Tinkercad and then the web interface of Octoprint so you can go right you know from web to web and output a real product so again really geeked about this so hey if you found this interesting give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below if you're going to build one of these or if you got any ideas you'd like to see something added or uh, printed or experimented with I'd be happy to uh, see what I can do and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.